You cannot have the zone and not have Eddie Hearn. I'm sorry, but I'm calling it now. Eddie Hearn's in the game. I, 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 that's my prediction. Eddie Hearn's got to be in the game. You cannot have the zone and not have Eddie Hearn. And if you're going to bring Eddie Hearn, you got to bring his his big money cash cow, and that's Anthony Joshua. <laughs> What's good, people? Welcome to another episode of Concept Reese. We got another video, people. So, you know, your boy dropped the, got the merch on, prepared, ready this time. I haven't watched it yet. I have not watched it. We always do this together on this channel. I'm just going to watch it in full and I'm going to go into the little tiny details we might have missed at the end. So, let's, let's get into this. No messing about. No more talking. Done with talking. Talking's done. Let's watch the video. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, here we go. Welcome to the zone. I'm Todd Grisham, and this is our Whoa. Welcome to the zone. I haven't. Okay, we've never heard that before. I've never seen any of this before. Even when I played the game, I never seen any of this. This is new for me. And here comes the Canelo. I haven't seen Canelo before. Oh, look at this, yo! Canelo, people. It's Canelo in the building, in the flesh. We haven't seen him yet. I'm loving them the zone intro, outro cards as well. It gives that real feel. Do you know what I mean? That is how the zone plays. We we haven't. I mean, we've seen the zone in images here and there, but we never officially knew the zone was going to be in the game like that. We're seeing that. We're seeing this. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a lot here. There's a lot to break down. Um, firstly, ESBC, Steel C Interactive. This is exactly what I wanted to see. I'm gonna turn the music off and turn the sound off because I just wanna talk about the clips and stuff like that and I'm gonna have it on in the background. Uh, let me put this on loop. Bivol and Canelo Alvarez is one of the biggest fights of the year, right? Any Canelo fight, let's be honest, any Canelo fight is the biggest fight of the year, right? Last time we had uh, Canelo out, it was against uh, Caleb Plant, right? We never did, there was hardly anything for from ESBC. Actually, there was nothing really from ESBC about Canelo and Caleb Plant. Even though both fighters are in the game, they've done it right this time. They've done it right this time. I don't know if they've been listening to the feedback from us or what, but this is the right thing to do. You're hyping up not just boxing fans, but gamers as well and boxing fans that haven't played a game in a hot minute are now going to know that ESBC is on the map they know oh Canelo Bivol and there's a game out as well this is win-win this is A-class marketing my people I love it okay all right all right all right, all right. let me let your boy break it down at the beginning of this video obviously as I said live from DAZN so we know DAZN is now in the game Feeling this, the breakdown, the records of each fighter adds that authenticity that we've been after. Amazing. As I mentioned, big fan of this DAZN intro outro cards that they've got going on. Love that. That's how DAZN rock and roll people are. I'm feeling it. it, it it's authenticity. It makes it feel more real. And not just that, you've got the ring here. They just saw the WBC back there as well. It's, it's very, it's, you know what I mean? When you start to see the actual trademarks of genuine organizations within boxing it just adds to that level of realism and i love it man it excites me stuff like that really excites me canelo uh yeah it doesn't look too bad i think i don't know man these let me just go back a little bit i'm not i don't know about these shorts man it just here that i don't want me to be pointing at my boy's crutch like that but it just feels it just looks a bit plasticky looking that's my feedback. The, the shorts just, I just don't know. They just don't quite look right. They look like it's stuck to him as opposed to feeling loose and breezy like shorts usually are. These are like a part of his leg. I can't explain it. Like he can't ever take them off. That's how it looks to me. Body of Canelo looks great. Looks amazing. I'm really a big fan of that. The face, I, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad, but I've seen better fighters in ESBC. Um, I've seen Terence Crawford. I've seen Conor Ben. And for me, they look better than this. 
Um, this could be early renders. I don't know. They could be making some improvements to it, but it's not my favorite. Not going to sit here and lie to you. It's not my favorite. The shorts, the face is okay. It's not bad. It's it's fine. Like, it's fine. It's fine. Bivol. Bivol, on the other hand. I mean, yeah, it looks like Dimitri Bivol, right? It, I, I don't know what it is, man. Like, the, It looks like it's like little things, though. You know me. I ain't trying to nitpick for nothing, right? I'm just excited as a boxing game. But there's little things I'm seeing and I'm going, uh, I don't know if I'm mad on that. So look at the way he walks here. His legs look a little bit strange. <laughs> like it's a, it's like he's like walking on ice. I can't really explain it. One more time. Do you see what I'm trying to say? It's just a little bit of a little thing there, but it's easily fixed. I'm not bothered, right? As long as he gets in the ring and the game looks good and it plays good. That's the thing that matters the most. Other thing I would like to see when it comes to entrances like this, especially for Canelo, yeah, for any fighter, but Canelo, this guy's got an entourage, right? I'm talking security. I'm talking, you know, his people are behind him when he gets into that ring. He, in this, he's he comes out on his own. Like, it's just him. Again, it's, it's a nitpick, but I'm just showing you what's on the screen. I would just like to see more people coming to the ring with Canelo, whether that's security, whether that's his, whatever, whoever. Team Canelo in the background. Same for Bivol. I'd like to see more of that. Okay, criticism, big criticism. Not big, but mm, <laughs> I'd like to see this work time. They're not really looking at each other. Like, one more time, one more time. Bivo's like up here, his eyes are here. Canelo's got his eyes on his lips. There's not that there's not that sense of engagement between the two because they're not really looking at each other. And throughout that whole exchange, they never looked at each other. Let me do one more time. Uh, it's a lip pick. I know it's a nick pick, but I'm just, <laughs> I gotta be real with you. Right. They don't look at each other once. Little things like that. Little things like that need improvement. I've, I've been fair with this. Still excited, of course, but just them little things there need to be worked on. Like, you know, I, one more time with the, yeah, I still think that's weird looking. I still think they're not yeah them two not really looking at properly at each other in the ring they're just kind of they're looking at each other but they're not looking at each other into each other's eyes like they would like that's how boxers do it man like it's intense this isn't in, it's not intense when bivol's looking at his ginger hair and and kennel's deep into them lips thinking man them lips look good man them lips look good hasn't quite got the same impact but Lot to be excited about. We finally seen Canelo, which is pretty exciting. Really happy with that. But I absolutely love the fact that we have DAZN in this game. One thing to note, guys: Canelo, Dimitri Bavol, both with DAZN. What happens when you are with Joe Joyce? What happens if your career mode is with Joe Joyce? Joe Joyce is with Frank Warren's Queensberry. Does that mean Joe Joyce? will be with DAZN if they've not been announced. How does that work? I like the idea of having loads of different boxing promoters in the game and you just switching and, you know what I mean, moving around to different guys. I just thought, hold up. I just thought if DAZN's in the game, Eddie Hearn, Anthony Joshua, especially Eddie Hearn, you can't have DAZN and not have Eddie Hearn. You cannot have the zone and not have Eddie Hearn. I'm sorry, but I'm calling it now. Eddie Hearn's in the game. I, 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 that's my prediction. Eddie Hearn's got to be in the game. You cannot have the zone and not have Eddie Hearn. And if you're going to bring Eddie Hearn, you got to bring his, his big money cash cow. And that's Anthony Joshua. You've already got Canelo. You've already got Usyk. They're two big cash cows for Eddie Hearn. But for Anthony Joshua is the cash cow, the original cash cow. They've got to put him in the game. And I think he is. That's my prediction anyway. But overall, some good, some not so good. I haven't heard any commentary yet. Even when I was out there in Sheffield, I didn't hear any commentary and I've not seen any intros, outros, anything like that. So it's all new to me as well, which is pretty damn exciting. Um, and I'm really happy about it. I mean, it's just, we're getting regular information about this game now. Like this is what, the last two weeks we've had new footage, new stuff to show. Keep it up. I love it. I love it. But anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's really important. Don't forget to do that. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. You take care of yourselves. 